In your health cast today, a new treatment could help even more than 1 million Americans with an often overlooked heart problem. Dr. Nish Patel is a cardiologist with Baptist Health Miami Cardiac and Vascular Institute and says a recent clinical trial focused on fixing a leaking tricuspid valve with a small clipping device. And they found that those patients who received the, the tricuspid clip, uh, there was 87% of those patients had reduction in uh, the leakage of the tricuspid valve. Uh, versus those patients who underwent medical therapy, only 4% of those patients had a reduction in the leakage of the tricuspid valve. So although the trial failed to show any real improvement in mortality, the doctor went on to say that patients who underwent the CLIP procedure did feel a lot better and had an improvement in their overall quality of life, which he says is a key benefit for people living with this condition. And another recent study found that people who don't get a good night's sleep may be at a greater risk of developing asthma. Looking at some more data from about 450,000 people, researchers in the UK found that those with a genetic predisposition and poor sleep habits were twice as likely to develop the condition than people in a low risk group. The analysis found that even those with a genetic predisposition had a lower risk of asthma if they followed good healthy sleep habits. And the federal government is planning to launch a huge $300 million database to better study Alzheimer's disease. Now, according to reports, the U.S. National Institute on Aging will be funding this six-year-long project. It's going to be building up a database of about 90% of the country's population. This big platform will then help identify Americans who are at risk for having Alzheimer's disease, and it'll also address the underrepresentation of minorities in drug trials.